what I thought when I came to, to Burkina Faso, when, when I met all these people, I was actually I was surprised because I was expecting that people would be really, they were about to be starving there, but, but they, they weren't. I didn't see any totally desperate people. I would say I could see people are working hard and they are leading hard lives, but, but they're getting on with it. I also thought it would be great if my drawings would, be, would help to raise awareness of, of the food crisis. When, when I was learning how to draw and during my studies and even after my studies, I, I always drew on location. I only ever drew what was in front of me. But after a while, when I started to work commercially, I had to work from photo reference a lot. Ah. And when I went out and I met people that I wanted to draw, I took lots of photo reference of the people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What I do when I come back from, from a journey, I basically I look at all the photos I've got and, um, and then I just draw what, what I see on the screen. Oops. As you can see, the, the drawings are quite large and, and, um, and this allows me to, to put in lots, lots, lots of details. Then you've got text in your drawings. All the text in my drawings, they're interviews with the people I, I met. And, and this will help to um, kind of to prove that, that all, all the drawings are, are real, that they're, they're honest, honest drawings. I think when I was already there in Burkina Faso, I, I knew that I want, want to draw this, this guy called uh, Ambroise. He's, he's um, I think he's 21 years old. He's a young man. He lives locally and um, they work quite long shifts between, I think, 8 or 12 hours there underground. Sometimes it's, it just look like superficial things, like I, I like his t-shirt. All, all the, the gold mines, they've got these cheap torches that were probably made in China. And he told me he would like to go to America, that's the reason I got the stars, stars and Stripes. What Oxfam is doing, they're, they're um, trying to prevent these, these, uh, the, the food crisis to become a, a famine. So um, it was very good for me and, and optimistic for me to see that the people they are getting help.